Hey there! I'd like to welcome you to my channel and another flip through. I have just completed the Sunflower Journal i had been working on for a month. <laughs> it took me a while. Anyhow, so I had made this uh, pre-made uh, cover to go on it. And uh, I had sewn around it. It's just, it's not really sewn like a quilt. It's just that the pieces and I sewed a line. But it gave it the impression and I sewed a bunch of buttons in there and knotted. I'd learned that way back in elementary school or something. And I thought that was neat. I did a, um, a cloth piece on the binding uh, part here because it was cracking. This is some really old paper. But I haven't decided on a closure for it yet. I've even got a little B on it. It says, Happy Day. So, let me start flipping through. This is a pizza box that I covered and uh quite a few of the things in here i made with my friend gina um some of them are from videos like this one's from a video where it's a i called it a, a waterfall uh tag uh booklet and uh you just flip through there you take that off and it's just little eyelets holding it together um but here is the the pocket for the front and i used some things that was from my stash and this is from Lynn Art Studio on Etsy it's her sunflowers kit and it's really beautiful I like the colors in it here I made a simple tuck from one of her bookmarks and this is a uh, a tag a large tag that I made down with my friend Gina in South Carolina it has some uh, uh, stenciling on it and some uh, texture paste and I had colored it up. This is napkin. This is a rub on. This is washi tape. So it's it's got the full Monty. <laughs> it's got everything on it. I did a little bit of lace on the edge because I've got this pretty pocket I made up. I have some die cuts that had some leaves that I had leftovers of. Um, this was one of the tall bookmarks here that went in this pocket that I made. This beautiful lady she looks Indian to me. She's throughout the, the kit, and I thought that was really pretty. I used one of these little words to make a tuck here. And this is another one of the pretty pockets. Uh, I did some lace around the outside of it. And I have a couple that tag from the kit is in here. And just a simple tag. I, I did a lot of simple tags just to, to use them up, but to give you a variation in color. And that goes back in here. I love this lady. She is so beautiful. And I did a little bit of light stamping there. I left plenty of space for, for journaling. Um, I tried not to get too carried away. Another little crazy cluster. And this was one of my uh, videos where it's a simple envelope type pocket. Uh, it's got two places in it to do your tucking. And this is some of my tea bag uh, grounds paper. <laughs> um, here was a piece that it's it's like a piece of cardstock, but it had marbling on it, and I thought that was really beautiful. And then I had made up this from just scrap pieces, and this is from the kit. And uh, then this was like a a tag I made a while back, and I thought it went with these colors. I'm always trying to match my colors up. Here it was the back side, which has a foresty green color. So it's so dark you couldn't write on it. But I did want to put something in here. And if you notice, this is um this is one of those old um macaroni boxes. It's <laughs> they had the windows in it. One was a spaghetti box and one was a mac two uh no, two were macaroni or <laughs> Two were spaghetti and one was macaroni. I'll, I'll get it right. I think this is the spaghetti. They don't do them like that anymore. But I just uh, used it to make my little window and everything. Here was one of the pockets from the kit. And I just put a couple of the, the items in there. Um, and she gave numbers uh, with things. Now this was from uh, Pink Monarch Prints. She had like a grungy kit. And I really loved it. And then this here is a... Um, is a library pocket and it's got two spots in it it's got napkin and collage paper and then just some papers from a, a butterfly kit i had 
but it I got these from um, scrapbooking with me she had a, a page a freebie page where she did a bunch of uh, sunflower looking things and I had to use that in here I thought that was so pretty I know the pink kind of throws you off but it works <laughs> and here I just kind of made up this here with the uh, butterfly she had a page with rounds in the kit these here I've got those interspersed throughout because they are from uh, the Dollar Tree and they had those stickers uh, with the foam in between well I took a lot of the foam out I didn't like the foam part <laughs> so I made them flatter this is beautiful it's in the the kit and I thought it would work well for a center signature um and i just couldn't cover it up it was just too pretty here's another page i made with some scraps i had laying around and one of the tags from the kit and that's just a blank one it actually has butterflies on it which i know the pink didn't work but the butterflies do <laughs> oh and then here's the other side of that our um pink monarch print <clears throat> Now here, I had all these leaves left over. This is that Tim Holtz die cut uh, set that he's got. And I had layered them on some, um, I think that's copper colored foil. And then I put them on a piece of like a foil print. And just kind of glued them to where they went into that shape for me to make a tuck. Because this is just from a, um, a little booklet that I've got that's perfect for the size for a journal card and then we have the back side which is that pretty marble and then this is I think one of my I don't know if I've done a, a video on this or not but it's just a simple little pocket and it has two little file folders in it or pseudo file folders I should say and it has some um, collage paper on it and some napkin and then I just kind of decorated up the the pocket <clears throat> it has some stamping behind it as well I didn't want it to to leave it too uh, plain some places I wanted it to, to be very decorative now this little piece here it actually flips over it's almost like a page tab and it is just a cluster but then you go to the other side and it's got this from the kit in it and uh, it's connected in with a tuck, which this is a side tuck. And I just put a plain piece here. Since this was so uh, de decorative and everything, I didn't want to detract with a tag with a lot of stuff on it. So that's why I did that. This here is sewn on. It's actually not sewn onto the page. It's sewn onto the base here. And then I glued it down. But it has a piece of netting that has glitter in it <laughs> i don't want to make it fancy <laughs> you know <laughs> something decorative and then this is a piece uh it was a um a napkin not a napkin a placemat that i dyed out on my porch and it left a pretty impression it almost looked like sunflower seeds um this is something i made long ago it's just a little guy that's got two journal cards in it in two places and then i made it where it tucks shut but i love the pretty outside but the way i made this this is a belly band a low belly band and i put this piece from the kit on here but i actually glued it at the base so it won't go all the way through so it actually will stay there um if it was a wider piece it wouldn't wiggle as much but because that one is kind of it's weighty because this is a heavy paper it wiggles just a tad and there's that pretty lady again and then on the other side I created this pocket with some of this netting I got from Hobby Lobby I love that stuff it's like a, a spider lace kind of thing but I just use little pieces of uh, stuff to create a pocket with interest and this is actually glued down to the page uh, just to give it some interest once the tag is not in there and over here the same thing she had this in the kit and it's like a long check of some type but then I made up this pocket to kind of have it go in this is a piece from the kit as well and some of this is gift wrap back here but it reflected the look of 
what's on the check and more pieces from the kit this I just made into a belly band I just glued it on both sides and this is another one of those pieces from it was a journal cord size um, but it's a map and I made it into a little booklet and it just slides up under there and holds in and it went with these colors here really well then turn it oh that's one yeah this is a piece where I had this uh, netting that has feathers on it and I just decided to put it over the whole piece uh, the page there first I put this trim from the kit on here then I glued that down the the feather page and then I decorated over it with some little clusters and these are just two pieces the bookmark from the kit and just a tag but um, it's a pocket from the kit as well with that pretty lady and I decided to do it up like that it's something different and you can still see the color of your page in behind there so it didn't detract from that and then here's another um, pocket that I made this is something I made down in South Carolina as well I think they call these Rolodex cards but <laughs> I didn't decorate the back side I should have but I just put a little piece of um, die cut leaf on there and I, I heat embossed um, like a look like I think it's a cone flower and I did a little stenciling but I thought that would be cute there with the tag and a little bit of extra decoration and then there are some pieces. This is just a little cluster design that I made with an extra piece of wood and some sunflowers from a, a cardstock kit. This is a page that I made myself from stamping. Uh, I stamped the background. I stamped this. And then I did some other stamping to give it some uh, age look. I think uh, that was Carrie the Crafter. He called it. The, he called them antiquarian pages. Uh, this was one of the bookmarks in like a little bee. This is the other spaghetti, <laughs> the spaghetti box with the clear window. Oh, <laughs> it's funny, funny. Okay, and this here, I decided to make it only glued halfway, so I could tuck this little tag in here, just for something of interest. This is one of my videos I did. It's uh, my sunflower page, and it's just each one is a like a tag. You could take it out and write on it like a tag, and then it tucks back in there. And um, I thought that was kind of interesting, something different. And then here I have the way I set this one up. These this was just a, a belly band that I made, and then I put this over top of it, and I actually have. Let me find a ruler. I forgot to put something in here, but I made it to where this is actually where a skinny item can go. And <laughs> I need to, to put that in there. Um, but then the other part is it has this tag, just a plain tag, that goes down under it. And it has some pretty lace on it. And then this is one of those sunflowers I told you I got from the Dollar Tree. But in this one, I left the foam in between. So it made a pocket. Uh, for that to rest on so it doesn't slide all the way down since this belly band is so high I thought that worked out well the other side of my antiquarian page uh, this here is the uh, macaroni box this is the macaroni box <laughs> but since it had such a large window I decided to put this saying in here and just decorated a little um, one of those sunflowers on top of it and it goes down and it you can put it right back in your window and <clears throat> this is a rug gripper you could get at walmart to go under your rugs and i put that between some of my tea and coffee dyed papers outside and it, it formed this design i thought that was really pretty i love this it's, it's so cheap but gives you so much <laughs> this here i had planned <laughs> to put as a belly band for a skinny tag but I glued it down before uh, so it, it's basically a cluster this is a pretty button um, 
and some lace that's on it and then some of the the trim that came in the kit and then i just tied the button in with a it's got like a safety pin and i've tied a bow on it to try to hide it oh <laughs> okay and then here's another one of those pockets that i kind of made up this is the piece from the kit and i did a little sewing around the outside of it and then uh this i made from an extra piece with two of the the ephemera pieces from the kit and a pretty little sunflower and this also has a piece here that comes out where i sewed around it's just a little dangle oh my goodness i hear my kitty <laughs> I mean, Kitty likes to yell a lot. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> um, here we go. This is uh, the little envelope that I made. Um, and I stuck it back here with a couple little items in it. And it went with the colors on this page so well. This was the other little character in this kit. A pretty little lady. Uh, here's a belly band. Uh, a vertical belly band. And it has just that behind it. And then there's the last page. And I didn't do anything back here. That could be, I could throw something in there eventually. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But this is basically complete. Uh, thank you so much for coming to visit and to see my creation here. I hope everybody has a great day. And thank you, thank you for visiting. And give me some likes if you feel I deserve it. Thank you, bye-bye.